does a man look for in a place to live and do his work? This is the Valley of the Credit, with its river that rises in the ancient Slate Hills to the north and winds its way to Lake Ontario. Long ago, this valley was the borderline between warring Indian tribes. For 100 years, it was the waterway of fur traders. It attracted its first settlers more than a century and a half ago, and since then, the land has grown and prospered. Now in the third quarter of the 20th century, a new era has opened for this valley. This one, the town of Mississauga, in the busy heart of Canada, a land on the move. The town of Mississauga covers over 70,000 acres. Its population has leaped from 13,000 after the war to around 107,000 today. And in the last 10 years alone, industrial commercial assessment has risen by close to $50 million. Let's take a look at the map first. The town lies on the edge of Lake Ontario, just 17 miles west of Toronto City Hall, and on the other side, the booming steel city of Hamilton. That puts the town of Mississauga right at the hub of things. Montreal is less than one hour away by air, so is New York. Cleveland takes 45 minutes, Chicago an hour and a half, Detroit one hour. If you were to build a plant here, 45% of Ontario's population would be living within just 40 miles of you. And one-third of Canada's total market would be no more than 100 miles away. And in addition, if you are selling to the 70 million people who live in the nearby American states, you can send a truck there overnight. The largest highway system in Canada passes right through the town. A complete network of major and secondary roads which connect customers and supplies throughout the country and link up with the expressways across the border. And roads are just one of the four transportation systems you have to choose from. The railways first pierced the Credit River Valley in 1850. Now Canada's two major systems, the Canadian National and Canadian Pacific, crisscross the town's industrial region and join up with most of the important systems in North America. And they do more than just pass through the area, of course. There's plenty of siding space available. If you prefer to fly or ship your products by air, Toronto's International Airport is actually located within the town area. This is Canada's busiest air terminal and can handle every type of aircraft, from turboprop freighters to jetliners. Executive aircraft can also use either this or a second airport in the area. <laughs> Lastly, this town grew up around the Credit Valley, and where the river flows into Lake Ontario, a modern harbor has been built, which forms a part of the great St. Lawrence Seaway system. The cargo handling facilities here are excellent and Port Credit can accommodate ocean-going vessels as well as the Great Lakes tankers and freighters. To say the least, the town of Mississauga certainly is accessible, but what of the facilities of the community itself? The lake is right on your doorstep. Pure, fresh water pumped through a distribution system more than 300 miles long. It supplies all kinds of industries, from storage battery manufacturers to the people who test jet engines. There is an abundant supply of low-cost electrical power from the huge Ontario hydro system. This $250 million plant, located right in the town, is one of the largest thermal generating stations in the world. 
sewage disposal for industrial and domestic needs is taken care of by a modern system which is constantly being extended as the demand increases. And there's an unlimited supply of natural gas. It comes from the great gas fields of Western Canada and provides the fuel to manufacture an astonishing array of products from foodstuffs and clothes to bricks and cement. But the greatest contributing factor to this community's development has been its growing population. On the one hand, this represents a strong labor pool and on the other, a rich consumer market. While the town of Mississauga has a lot to offer a new industry, it also has a great deal to offer the people who live here. developed community like this doesn't just happen and anticipating future developments calls for skillful planning. The manufacturer who is thinking of locating here can call on an experienced town planning staff and an active industrial commission to give him advice. And further assistance is available through the trade and industry branch of the Ontario government. There are over 7,000 acres of preferred industrial land to choose from. The greater industrial development is concentrated into five major parks, offering a variation of services to suit your requirements. And if it's for a place to live, you can choose anything from an executive home on the banks of the Credit River to well-ordered subdivisions and apartment buildings. New homes like these are being built all the time and not without reason. By 1980, it's estimated that the present population will have more than tripled itself to some 300,000 people. You wouldn't be lonely. City Entertainment? Toronto is only 20 minutes away from your door. Drive there or take advantage of the all-new GO train. There's plenty of opportunity in the city for fun and excitement. If you prefer to take an active part in your own relaxation, you don't have to look far. The Huron Park Recreation Center offers the residents a complete community facility. Swimming pool, skating rink, restaurant, auditorium, and even a health club. Or imagine yourself enjoying one of these sports. They're all to be found in the town itself.
The town of Mississauga is unique among all other industrial areas in southern Ontario. Already, more than 100 major manufacturers and scores of smaller plants have moved here to take advantage of the location, the transportation facilities, and the pool of local labor. The full list of companies reads like an international who's who of industry, and the list continues to grow week by week. The second phase of Sheridan Park Research Centre was opened recently. The Ontario Research Foundation chose this site in the town of Mississauga for a multi-million dollar research and development complex. The centre provides a stimulating atmosphere for scientists, engineers and technicians to work together with your industry. It's worth considering the advantages this area has to offer. For this is a land on the move. It's alive. It's growing. It's Canada's largest town, the town of Mississauga. Mississauga. 